Hi Taurus, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please do check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, decks I'm using, social media links, tons of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. Lots of information. And um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. Those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. Really means a lot to me. And I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you, thank you. And thank you for supporting the channel and uh, helping it to grow and flourish. And being a part of that is truly appreciated. So we can get these messages out to those who need to hear them. So thank you so much. Okay. For Taurus, general reading. I just did your love reading the first part of September. So this is your general reading. I will read it as a general reading, but if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life, then you're more than welcome to do that. Okay. Hope everybody's doing well. Almost done summer. Okay, Taurus. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We'll see what we get here. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, that's totally fine rest of the reading may be for you. So we have air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So you could be uh, dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius in some, some way, if I can talk, some way, shape, or form around you. Um, sibling, family member, co-worker, friend, uh, or a significant other of some kind. But the air energy here is all about truth and clarity, open, honest communication, it's everything to do with the mind, education, ideas, um, and that sort of energy. All right, having clarity. All right, so let's see what's going on with Taurus. First half of September. What is the message most needed for Taurus? What's going on? with Taurus, the first half of these will shuffle for me, first half of September. One card for Taurus, what's going on with Taurus, wow, okay, so, oh, I just lost it, but I was going to take that card, but if it's meant to be, it'll come back out. One card for Taurus, one card for Taurus, what's going on with Taurus? first half of September. Show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So the year is uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And now we have show the world the real you, full moon in Aquarius. So you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius or this is just telling you to be true to who you are. You know, don't be afraid to open up to people. Don't hold back from people. Show the world the real you. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So that's just a message for some people. So you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. So if there's any worry uh, uh, in any way um, about your family, the safety of your family, for some reason, just know that everybody is safe. However, that whatever that means for you, if you have other family members or other people around you and the, there's a question there of their safety for some reason, that everything will be fine and uh, they are protected and there's no need to worry because everything will work out, whatever that means for you. It could be a cancer, maybe uh, somebody around you who, who is a cancer sign maybe a separate message there all right so let's see what's going on for Taurus the first part of September all right this one to stay on the table so we have the five of swords okay so this is the ear energy 
So this is being kind of like in, in an energy of um, being very like selfish and egotistical, like doing what's best for you and you just don't care about others around you. You don't care how you do it, who you do it to, who it affects. Huh. So why are you in this energy? You may be putting up a front, like uh, coming off one way, like projecting yourself as being somebody who just doesn't care about people, who's very um, selfish, only thinks about themselves. But I'm getting that's like not the real you, but I don't know why you would be doing that. All right, so what other energy is around you? What other energy is around you? Why is the Five of Swords here? It's too many. Why is the Five of Swords here for Taurus? First part of September. So we have Temperance and the Knight of Coins. Wow. So Sag and that's your energy with the Knight of Coins. Uh, Knight of Coins with uh, here with... Um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn so it's like almost like you're projecting yourself to be like this I just got egotistical maniac like self-centered like being very boisterous and obnoxious but that's not like not the real you maybe you're just doing it for attention and maybe you feel like the real you is boring like like temperance here is um, very healing balanced energy it's all about patience and healing and balance and then you have the knight of, knight of coins a very slow moving knight it's very uh stable and grounded though that's your energy so i feel like you are somebody that's very stable and grounded um you're very practical you know you do you think before you do things and you're very balanced but yet maybe you just feel like you have to portray yourself as this other person to get attention or to get friends or whatever here and because this is telling telling you to show the world the real you not this egotistical maniac kind of obnoxious energy that's like not really you or maybe you try to do that to fit in or show off or get attention for some reason and I, I think you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to be in that energy. And I don't know why you would want to be in that energy. I don't know. So let's clarify the energy here. The Four of Cups. I, and wow. And I had just said the Four of Cups is being about being very disenchanted, melancholy, bored. And I felt, and I got that message of you feeling like you're a very boring person. And that you portray yourself in a different light so that you can you'll get attention and maybe try to get more friends or something like that wow that's water energy and then we have the king of cups so you know it's time to be true to yourself show yourself you know self love here with the king of cups energy that you don't need to be in that um like false energy of the five of swords you know, even if you think, well, nobody will like me for who I am. I'm just boring. Um, I know I, you know, you don't have to do that. People will love you for who you are with the King of Cups energy. And you can show them the real you. There's no need to portray yourself as one energy. When you are a very smart, practical, balanced, well-rounded person underneath that facade. And very loving, generous, giving, caring, nurturing person also. Or this could be, you know, King of Cups, a water sign. Um, I don't know if maybe you have a friend or best friend, a friend, uh, a sibling or something that's a water sign. I don't know, but I'm getting it as your energy. <clears throat> so let's see what your actual situation is your actual situation or maybe you know you got the sword in your hand there you just portrayed yourself to be this very tough like defensive person for some reason 
All right. So what is the actual situation here? The Taurus. One. A few more. We have a few more. The Taurus, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. Wow. So we're getting a lot of kings here. All right. So we have the Hermit which is Virgo, King of Swords. There's the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have the Six of Wands. So the Hermit here, you know, really think about, you know, this is doing inner journey work, thinking, contemplating, finding your way, finding your light. So I think you really need to reevaluate your actions here, reevaluate how you're portraying yourself, um, do your inner journey work, um, you know, really thinking and contemplating here that you don't need to come portray yourself as this false person because you have over here the six of wands over here so and the king of swords so we have two kings here so here's the air energy again Libra Gemini Aquarius so the king here of swords you know he's all about truth clarity um, kind of energy Cutting out energies, no longer serving, standing up for himself, for himself, not taking any BS here kind of energy. So, you know, this is King of Swords here is just being your true authentic self, being true to who you are, truth and clarity. And you will, you know, you need to think long and hard about that. It's okay to be who you truly are and communicate with truth and clarity. Because you, you will be, people will love you for who you are, and you will be victorious here. You will be successful. You probably have even more friends or whatever, you know, here. You will have success and victory moving forward by just being your true authentic self. So let's get more clarity on this. So we have the Three of Wands and the Emperor. So the three ones, you know, talks about waiting, patiently waiting to set off on your new journey. You see it out in the distance, but you're waiting for the ship to arrive. And when it comes, when you get on board, you're going on a new journey. And then we have the emperor, which is Aries. So that's about taking control, taking charge. So I feel like you just need to control yourself, control how you're doing things, perceiving things, or how you're perceiving yourself to others. You need to just take control, charge of your life, and just be true to who you are. And, you know, maybe you've been waiting, you know, not sure, you know, about the actions you've taken, about, you know, what path you want to go down to. Um, is it okay to be myself? Will people truly like me and love me for who I truly am? And I would say, yes, you can take control. All right, so it's kind of an odd message, especially if you, you know, adults watching this, but if it resonates for you. So let's get advice with Eight of Swords. Hmm. Mental entrapment, there's the air energy again. So this is advice and guidance. And so if you're in a state of mental conflict, uh, entrapment, stuck in your own head and mind about everything here. We have the Eight of Cups here. So walking away, two eights here. Wow, that's about taking action, uh, travel, movement. So you need to, you know, walk away and end all this energy that you're in that is not truly you. Whatever it is for you, um, whatever energy you're pers portraying yourself to be that is not truly you to either get ahead or you know the emperor here may be trying to get a uh, higher ranking position at your work or trying to control something and so you're portraying yourself in one way even though that's not who you truly are um, this is telling you here you can walk away from all this mental 
conflict and thoughts and blockages in your head that it's time to walk away from all that energy because it's not fulfilling you it's not serving the best for you in any way shape or form I think it's just closing you in more closing you down more and there's a need to open up here and walk away from that energy and open up more to your true self so there we got the ten of coins and the five of cups so you know you could be worried here about um, losing everything and maybe that's why you're you know five of swords here you know doing whatever you can to keep what you have because you're worried about losing everything water energy uh, earth energy this is your energy ten of coins happy home family growth abundance in every way um, and then but the five of cups here is you know sorrow sadness loss hurt and worry so maybe you just you know you're just feeling depressed or maybe you are like a maybe you have low self-esteem esteem or maybe you're depressed but you're not letting on you know that you wear this false facade and you don't really tell everybody what's really going on with you and it could have to do something with your home life here a marriage or um, finances or something like that you're just feeling I think depressed and lonely and worried something maybe in your home life or married life or something like that something about your stability or your finances I hope this is making sense so let's see let's see let's see what the possible outcome is for you but it's saying over here that you are safe and protected so I don't feel like you have to do any unnecessary take any unnecessary actions to get ahead or something like that or you know doing something that's not really you because this is says show the world the real you so don't do something here that's like out of character for you because the air is all about energy is about truth and clarity so being authentic to yourself being true to yourself what is the possible outcome here for Taurus? So there we go. We got the Ace of Coins. So you will have a brand new beginning here. Stability, growth, abundance uh, here. So, yep, you will have a brand new beginning. So you won't, really won't have to worry because you have growth, abundance moving forward for the future for a brand new beginning. The Two of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. So now we have the uh, we have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So this could have to do something with a marriage, because we have divine counterparts here with the King and Queen of Swords, two air signs, and you know Two of Cups does speak of soulmates and two people coming together as one, or it could just be two people coming together in a partnership, seeing eye to eye, having healing, balance, um, energy, forgiveness peaceful resolutions, aligning with yourself also and being true to who you are, having self-love and being aligned with your authentic self. Queen of Swords again, standing in truth and clarity. Again with the air energy here. So being in truth, being in that true um, space, clarity, You know, standing up for yourself again not taking any BS cutting out things no longer serving you so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck so here's a brand new beginning so leaving all the past stuff no longer serving you behind only taking what with you what you need resetting restarting at zero taking a leap of faith jumping right in a whole new beginning here a whole new start Queen of Cups so now we have the King and Queen of Cups so you know really really you know people will really you know support you love you for who you truly are self-love here compassion the sun so there's your 
happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, happy home and family, growth, expansion, conflict. So, you know, you may be unwillingly causing conflict for some reason to try to get ahead, but I don't think you need to do that. I think everything will be fine because you have the success and victory here and you have self-love, self-nourishing energy, caring, compassion. People will love you for who you are and you will have this brand new beginning. You'll jump right in. You'll have stability, growth, expansion forward. So I don't know what your situation is. If it's um, trying to get ahead or trying to control something, whether it's in your career or it's something with your family or your home or your finances. Uh, I, will, I would think long and hard about doing anything that you shouldn't do to try to get ahead and try to gain control of something. I think everything will be fine. Everything will go in your favor. Um, <clears throat> there will be a peaceful resolution. You will have your ten of coins. You will have your ace of coins for your brand new beginning. <clears throat> My throat is getting closed up, so don't say or do anything that uh, you'll regret later. All right, Taurus, so let's get some advice and guidance for you moving forward in your situation. Advice and guidance for Taurus for the first part of September. What do we have for Taurus for advice and guidance for Taurus? And Aquarius here um, is the star in the... Uh, Major Arcana, which is about, again, healing and patience and faith and hope and optimism, wishes and dreams coming true. So I think everything will be fine. Uh, just don't do anything you'll regret later. Okay, so what do we have for advice and guidance for Taurus? First part of September. Wow. Wow. So we have Green Tara, Supreme Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation. Trust. So again, with um, protection over there. So you are being very, very protected here. Divinely protected. I think cords will be cut uh, or whatever here that is no longer serving you that you either need to walk away from or cut out of your life with the swords. I think divine will also do that for you. So you could just trust in that and not do anything you'll regret later. All right. So just remain true to who you are. Live in your authentic purpose. And I think everything will be fine. <clears throat> Paul, the Venetian experiencing grace share your gifts with grace waves of inspiration and love are coming to you so again i think waves of prosperity um you know everything will be fine everything will go in your favor not to worry and accept it with grace and dignity not in this deceitful energy Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Wow, a lot of <laughs> protection and safety here. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. Exactly. Exactly. Allow nature to take its curse, curse, course, <laughs> divine to do its magic. And uh, don't do anything uh, here you'll regret. All right, so I'm getting karma. So karma will play itself out in some way, shape, or form. There's no need for you to like seek revenge or be, ven be, be vengeful in some way, shape, or form to try to repay karma. Now it's making sense. You may be seeking out revenge, like repaying karma, like you want re-karma, 
you want karma like repaid, vengeance sought out, but this is telling you not to do that. Just trust in divine source, trust that you are protected and that karma will work itself out in your favor. And you can just be, do you move on? Do you and let nature take its course? All right. So do we have anything else for Taurus? Wow, that's too many, too many. It's too many. I just feel like there's one more that wants to come out at will. Is there anything else for Taurus? Psychic insight. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Exactly. And Krishna, devotion, trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. I definitely feel like here, you know, follow your intuition, but don't do anything you'll regret. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. Dharma unfolding. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. So I think the path to your happiness will be, come to you just do you concentrate on you karma will work itself out in your favor and there's no need to try to seek vengeance for your own karma is what i'm getting now that makes sense for some of you in some way whether it's whatever it is for you it could be over a job it could be over a friend family member i don't know over money i mean whatever here uh i'm surprised we didn't get the justice card um Everything will be fine. Okay, Taurus, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past playlists. Uh, maybe something there will resonate for you. I would say uh, disregard the dates on them. I do consider them all timeless. If something catches your eye, I'd say watch it anyway. There may be a message in there for you. And if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. So good luck to you here in your situation. I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.